Hi everyone, I'm coming on today to show like uh, a paper box frame that I've made. Um, I came across making this by accident, believe it or not, because yesterday I got a box and it's just how I make my boxes up like this. Um, I've showed videos before and then I uh, put all my candles in and then I thought about the idea of using my circle die and I wanted to make a hole at the top like that and then I was going to put a bit of um, you know like the see through paper so then you can see through um, and inside you'll see the candles and stuff because that's what I was going to originally put in and then um, I started making it and then obviously on I made up one box and then this flat one I just scored to where I had to and then I first uh, well I die cut it out the circle and then it came to me once I put it all like the box together before I put the candles in that the box looked like a box frame and I thought, cool, yeah, I'd like to make them like that. Um, so it just came to me by accident, really. And then this is one of the box frames that I've actually made. Um, yeah. So this is a C. This was the C one I was making. Um, just a box, and then because I cut the circle out, and I was gonna put the see through stuff what you put inside and then it's like as the lid and then put my candles in and I was going to put a bow across but it was when I cut the circle out it just reminded me of the box frame so that's the one I went on to make anyway and I've put do more of what makes you happy the quote inside and I've just put the seahorse uh, some little uh, seashells the shipping wheel and it's got all the anchors on so I'm just going to show how I made that really today so all I got was my 6x6 paper and I scored on one inch and then I turned it and scored at one inch and that was all the way around so then you got the square in the middle now, you can see it better there, look. You've got all the score marks and you've got the square in the middle. And then I just got my circle. I say this, what size is this? This circle is about three inches, that circle. And I just pull it in the middle and I fussy cut that. Not fussy cut, sorry, I die cut that out. So I've went away and uh, cut that out on my die machine and my die cutting machine so now you can see it's got the circle so now what I'm going to do as on these little uh, the little squares on the side I'm going to just snip can you see this? I'm just going to snip like that and then snip again so it goes like the triangle and then you just pick that out, sorry for any noise out in the background like that and you have to do that all the square so I've went away and as you can see I've cut all on the squares and now each square I'm going to get my wet glue and just stick it down and make it into the box like this and I'll be back so now I've stuck that all together and you can see the circle bit on top. So then what you want to do is get the bottom part of the box and then the top part and then just fit them in. And if they do feel a bit tight then I'm just going to go out the camera for a minute. And yeah I was just going to say you can like just cut a bit of the edge off here just to give it a bit more room and that. Um, but no it fits in fine and now it's time to decorate so what I like to do is I like to keep the circle bit what I cut out the top and inside I'm going to stick that in the inside like that so you can see the circle on the background 
So I'm just going to go away and get some things out of what I want to decorate on. Um, I went away and I've put the quote inside, Life is better when you're smiling. And I've put the little butterflies at the bottom at the top. And I think that's just lovely um, as a little gift you can give to someone. And I love the idea how I've made these ones with the quotes in to send someone in friend mail. And it's a lovely like frame and they can have that put up in their craft room with a nice quote. Um, so they can always have to look at and just a nice positive quote really. Um, but I think these little box frames are lovely. So I'm going to be making more. I think I'm going to make some maybe birthday ones and that and put them up on my Instagram. And if anybody would like to buy them. Uh, I'll leave the link to my Instagram so you can come over and follow me and have a look of ones I'm going to put on. So, yeah, that's it. I might put a little picture so you can see how it stands up better and stuff of it. The little quotes are vellum out of these vellum books that I got. And I got these a while ago off a seller on Facebook. And yeah, I've just been using them up. So that's my little tutorial uh, of how I made this paper box frame. And thanks for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up. Leave any comments asking anything about uh, how I made this or anything or anything I've used. I'll, I'll get back to you and speak to you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.